L minus seven minutes. Status check to proceed with terminal count. Atlas systems, propulsion. Go. Hydraulics. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2. Go. Water. Go. Setar systems, propulsion. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2. Go. LH2. Go. Asgas. Go. Electrical systems, airborne. Go. Ground. Go. Facility. Go. RFFTS. Go. Flight control. Go. GCQ. Go. Operations support. Go. Com. Go. Umbilicals. Go. ECS. Go. Red line monitor. Go. Quality. Go. Op safety manager. Go. ULA safety officer. Go. Vehicle system engineer. Go. Anomaly chief. Go. Range coordinator. Clear to proceed. Launch director. LD is go, and you have permission to launch. Proceeding with the count. ALC, verify T0 is set for 1150 Zulu. Three minutes. Securing LO2 topping. Atlas, thanks to flight pressure. Two minutes, 50. MTS internal. Vehicle internal. One minute, 55. Launch sequencer start. One minute, 50. Securing Centaur LH2. Securing Centaur LO2. One minute. Rock, report range status. Range green. Forty seconds. Stable at step three. Twenty-eight seconds. ECS reduced for launch. Roger. Twenty-five seconds. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Mars 2020. Eight. Seven, six, five, five, four, engine ignition, two, one, zero. Release and liftoff. As the countdown to Mars continues, the perseverance of humanity launching the next generation of robotic explorers to the red planet. And Atlas TU has gone to closed loop control. Coming up on 30 seconds into flight, the RD-180 is throttling down as expected. Engine response looks good. And Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. And passing 45 seconds into flight, vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Passing one minute into flight, the RD-180 is throttling back up as expected. Engine response looks good. At this time in flight, the SRB chamber pressures remain nominal. The RD-180 pump speed and fuel injector pressures are responding well to demands on the engine. Standing by for SRB burnout shortly. And we have burnout on all four SRBs. Burnout pressure signatures look good. Standing by for SRB jettison shortly. And we have a good indication of SRB jettison of all four SRBs. 
and the vehicle has gone to closed loop guidance. Vehicle body rates are responding normally at this time. And coming up on two and a half minutes into flight, uh, the RD-180 is throttled down slightly as expected. Engine response continues to look good. At this time, the vehicle is uh, 50 miles in altitude, uh, 85 miles downrange, traveling at 6,000 miles per hour. And the Centaur Reaction Control System is now pressurizing to flight levels. And just past three minutes into flight, the RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a constant 2.5G acceleration limit for payload fairing jettison. Engine response and vehicle acceleration look good. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison and Centaur forward, forward load reactor deck jettison. And the RD-180 is, is throttling back up to attain a 4.6G acceleration. Uh, engine response continues to look good. And Centaur has begun the boost phase chill down sequence to thermally condition the RL-10 for operation. Standing by for BECO shortly. Biko is the because the call for booster engine, and we have Biko booster engine cutoff standing by for stage separation. And we have good indication of Atlas Centaur separation. So they're using live footage, and we have the Mach one. Uh, RL ten operating parameters look good. Uh, <clears throat> Chamber pressures are stable. This will be the first of two burns for today's mission. Uh, this first burn will pro be approximately seven minutes in length. So, Mick, that's pretty exceptional footage there. That's live video. Uh, we will see that switch over shortly into an animation that kind of helps let us know what's happening with the rocket, but right there, uh, a beautiful liftoff. Uh, fun to feel that rumble in the building here as we proceed towards uh, orbit and then towards uh, Mars destination. Yeah, absolutely. It was great uh, watching an on-time liftoff of the Atlas V with that little over 2 million uh, pounds of thrust. Uh, cleared the tower in roughly five seconds. Uh, Josh, you and I worked the InSight mission, and if you recall, that mission on the West Coast took about 17 yeah, seconds to get past the tower. So with those four solids today, this thing really got out of here and on its way. It's, uh, as we hear from Jesse, everything's looking nominal, and all uh, vehicle parameters are, are within the design limits, and, and we're getting ready to come up on a main engine start for that first burn that and Jesse was talking about. The, uh, yeah, so recapping this countdown to Mars, uh, the, uh, the stations begin to be filled up this morning just after midnight. Uh, preparations, fuelings, powering up uh, all the way through that, that liftoff that happened. Uh, I think, Mick, uh, it wasn't precisely on time. I think you said it was like 10 milliseconds early. Um, so it's pretty much dead on. Yeah, dead on. This team does a great job. Centaur Reaction Control System is now pressurizing to flight levels. Cape Winds, Denver Winds, MetNet. And just past three. And we did see a minor interruption to telemetry there as we switch to a TDRS compatible data format. Overall telemetry quality is uh, very good.